Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue with Zoom that it cannot connect to your service and to try again later, error code 104101. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in control panel. Best results should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. And in the view by up in the top right, you want to click on that drop down and select large icons. And then you want to go down to the Windows Defender entry in here. So you might have to scroll down. So again, Windows Defender Firewall. Go ahead and open that up. And then select where it says allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall over here on the left side. And now select the change settings button. You want to go down to Zoom Video Conference. So again, Zoom Video Conference in this list. Make sure it's checkmarked, meaning it's allowed on your system. And then you want to further make sure that the private and public boxes are both checkmarked in here. And then once that is done, go ahead and select OK to save the change if anything's necessary to be changed or updated. And then once that's done, you want to go underneath Advanced Settings over here on the left panel. So go ahead and left click on that. And then select Inbound Rules. Again, go down to the Zoom video conference entry in here. You would double click on it. I'm just selecting a random entry in here. It doesn't matter. But in your case, select the Zoom video conference item in here. And underneath action, you want to make sure allow the connection is the selected option. And then select apply and OK. And you would do the same going underneath outbound rules over here. So just underneath inbound, you go underneath outbound once you're done. And then again, go down to the Zoom video conference entry in here. You double click on it and you want to make sure that the connection is being allowed. And then you can select OK and close out of here. Attempt to relaunch Zoom and see if the issue has been resolved. If you are still having an issue, something else we can try here would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best results should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Once you've done that, go ahead and type in NETSH space WINSOC, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. And then hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Once you receive that, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And again, hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. If you are still having a problem, we can attempt to just reset our network settings back to default. One thing I do want to note, that once you do this and you restart your computer, you will need to enter back in your Wi-Fi credentials to get back on the Internet. So make sure you have those nearby before you proceed with the next step. So that would entail opening up the search menu. Type in Network Reset. Best results should come back with Network Reset. Go ahead and open that up. And it will read that this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And then at this point, go ahead and close out of here. And save and close the many open programs or applications and then restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.